Now, uh, speaking of uh, of rotors, uh, there was a time when uh, the only thing that I wanted musically, I mean, I had all the toys that I, that I needed, and the only thing that I was kind of wanting was a Leslie speaker. So I made one from a little amp. I aimed it face down, put a piece of plumbing under it. Oh, actually, before I made one, I faked one in my book. So I, I had a picture of a... Uh, in my in a in a book I wrote a record player with a paint can on it and a speaker sitting on top of the paint can and there's a hole in the paint can. What is That's that? All it was. What's oh. the, what's a Leslie motor or speaker? Is this a guy that uh, made it or? I'm glad you asked that. There's this beautiful sound that you get with an organ. You'll know you'll remember it from church. If you're old like me, you'll remember it in the big bands, Three Dog Night and Steppenwolf. Boop, 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 boop. When the speaker spins. The sound just comes from everywhere. It bounces off the whole room and comes back to you. When you mic it and put it into a song, it sounds good. When you hear it live, it's like a bath in your mother's cooking. And uh, it's just one of the most beautiful sounds. I thought, desktop Leslie, record player, paint can, speaker. And there's a picture. My buddy Dave Patino calls me up and says, Make Magazine wants to do an article on your desktop Leslie. Okay, fine. So now I have to build it. So I build one out of a record player, an amp on top, up, and a piece of plumbing here spinning around. It sounded pretty good. Then a friend who was recording here left me an actual Leslie, albeit a cheap one. He left it for me as sort of an offering, and it's, it's up here. Now, I've got it set up so that you can hear it a little bit. And I'll give you a sense of what it sounds like. Now this one was built into an organ that his grandma had. And he ripped it out of that organ. And that's the best way to get a real lesson. Okay, here's the sound straight. Here it is spinning. recognize that sound now, don't you? Yeah. But now, George. Yeah. Is on these organs, is that like a foot yeah. pedal or something you press to turn that thing on, or is it just spinning all the time? On the real ones, you know, this was made for churches, and it was made, it was made by scientists and wacky people, and they didn't really understand the musicality of it. So, on the real ones, there's a switch in the middle. It says off. You put it this way, it says slow, and you put it this way, it says fast. And you can set it to either one of these three spots. And the really skilled guys would would knock it back and forth real quickly. And uh, and and so a lot of the times the characteristic sound of the music is the changing of the lesson. So by a quirk, uh, the answer to your question is. Um, by a quirk, the answer to your question is, uh, the controller was kind of dumb, but it happened to generate a style of music that just means a lot to a lot of people. So fast and slow are good, but fast to slow or slow to fast is really meaningful to people. Now, there's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. In fact, I think it was a couple of years ago that I picked up my first ceiling fan on bulky item pickup day, hoping to make a ceiling fan lesson. But the problem that I couldn't solve was I didn't know how to make it so that the speaker could spin around and still stay in contact uh, with the uh, with the source of electricity. The one that I the one that I showed you just now has one speaker aimed down, and then that styrofoam doodad reflects it. That's good for the low frequencies, but the high frequencies require spinning speed. So a friend, I didn't get his name, but I will tell you when I find it, answered the question, and it's an elegant question. Here's how you do it. Here's how you keep the thing in contact. Let me get in.
It's a quarter inch jack. In other words, it's a guitar cable. It's in the stationary part of the center of the fan. I've got a wire wrapped around the tip and a wire wrapped around the sleeve, and that's it. And those things go up to the, where the fan blade would be, and there's a speaker that that goes into. There's another speaker on the other fan blade, and that is just there for weight. Does it sound good? You tell me. The Sealite Tan Leslie demonstrated here for the first time ever on Batman and Circle. Guitar goes on. I'm not even going to look for a guitar pick this time because I've learned my lesson. Well, maybe. Speed goes up. It's got to blow up. Yeah. Oh. 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 Say yes. <laughs> what was that chord you just played? <laughs> you okay, George? That was that was a D suspended, which is exactly what this instrument became. It became D suspended. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That was exciting. We could hear it, though, just before it went. Yeah, it, it fell on a bucket of, of beer bottles, too. And you can't be. You see, there is a God.